Hey guys, Swifty here, how's it going? Today, um, I'm starting a new series and it's going to be Redstone Creations. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cannon so that you can do like raiding on a faction server or you just want to blow stuff up in general or just make a cannon. Um, it's really simple to do. You're only going to need these items here. Um, obviously TNT is going to be the most important because that's what you're going to be firing. Now this is a simple TNT cannon. It's not an advanced one because it's sort of manually, manually done. But I'm going to show you how to do it. So say, just as an example, you're on factions and they've claimed up to here and this is their base and you want to raid it. Uh, just go as close as you can because this means you're going to be using less TNT and obviously if it's in a cave and there's like a, a big cave wall here, um, obviously dig back a bit and then build a cannon, blow it up or just place TNT here, like place, I don't know, enough TNT to make a, a large enough hole and then blow it up. But this is how you make a cannon. Uh, you're also going to need a, um, a slab, I just remembered. You need one slab, um, but I'll take a stack. Uh, you might need two slabs, I'm not too sure actually. Um, but it works either way. So, we're going to build back. You can go back as far as you want, depending on how much TNT you're going to use. Um, so if you've got a base that's really far away, go back to... Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. That should be fine. So it looks like this. And get rid of that. Place a slab here and a slab here. And now place a uh, bucket of water here and the water should travel to the end. Um, obviously the cannon is going to be the furthest it can place water. And that is uh, this point. So you could go back to ten. 10 blocks because we've done 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then go back 10. So you could go up to here with it. So you could have a really large cannon, but we don't need to do that. Um, so if you have a block here like this, uh, redstone um, uh, blocks like carry redstone current. So if I did TNT here and I pressed a button, this would then go through the block and ignite the TNT. So just drop a slab because it means that TNT. We will not go off because slabs don't carry redstone, uh, they don't carry redstone current. Next bit is like this. And um, in my cannons I like to go back to because it just means you can place all your repeaters and this is how I would build a cannon. So you place just enough repeaters, you could go, uh, depending how far away their base is, if it's this close, two or three repeaters is fine, but I'm just showing you that you can have as many as you want to and then we can add a bit of a delay so um, enough clicks now obviously one click um, so if it's like this you have no delay one delay would sort of be it launches and then it probably blow up on this because if you have water or like lava blow obviously it's gonna stop the TNT from blowing up um, so you want it to sort of hit the base or whatever you're aiming at uh, you don't want it to explode like you don't want it to hit it and fall and explode on the floor but it's sort of trial and error because obviously distance and uh, delay matters so I'm gonna go up with two and you're gonna place a TNT here and then I reckon two back would be enough and if you have TNT and it's going too high you can place a slab on top and I will show that in a minute um, depending if it goes up or down or whatever we need to do uh, I'll show you how to adjust it so it works well so place a button or a lever or even a uh, pressure plate or anything that you can step on or press that will then turn the redstone on and this is what you do. So this TNT ignites because of this redstone and the delay carries this and that launches the TNT. Now as you can see the TNT went up, we don't want that to happen so you simply drop a slab on top of the TNT. But if you do this, just remember make sure you have the slab here because this won't launch it, it will get stuck and it'll probably fall here and it'll blow up the front of the cannon which is what you don't want so we'll try again obviously you're not going to hit it dead on first time it is trial and error so that went down a bit and that sort of blowed up most of it but obviously if it's on factions it's going to be made out of obsidian and probably got water around it so you could try a less of a delay so I'd get rid of probably two clicks and it's probably will blow up uh, in the air. What the hell? What? 
Well, it worked. Um, I think two was fine. It just went at a dodgy angle. But yeah, this is basically how to make a really simple cannon. And um, you want this TNT and it works. For some reason, it's going off to the side. I'm not too sure why, but it's different with cannons. And obviously, there's a chance. Um, I think that's just bugging out for some reason. But it's simple cannon. It's not dead accurate. But um, I'm going to be making another video on how to make a, like a professional cannon that works really well and is just great and a lot better than this cannon but this is like a budget cannon if you haven't got enough resources or anything so thank you guys for watching um if this has worked and it's helped you out with raiding or just general mucking about then please like the video thank you for watching i will see you next time goodbye my friends